This is our coffee blend and this is our tumble drum, which is like my favorite piece of equipment. We are at Bruco and it's short for the brew compound. We are upstairs in what we call Pat's office. The old way of doing it was super tedious and annoying. It was basically filling one of these with coffee and then shaking it, shaking it down. You'd always get uh, some coffee in your eyes. The tumble drum has saved us uh, a lot of work and it's much easier and the blend is a lot better as well. It really thoroughly mixes it. We uh, brew an Ethiopian, Indonesian, French chicory blend uh, that is cold brewed for 20, 24 hours. The roasted coffee goes into this bag. We actually get these custom made for us by my mother-in-law. I think of it like a big tea bag. This is what goes into the drums for the coffee to steep in cold brew. I was working at GQ Magazine doing uh, editorial production. At that point, I'm kind of selling it in the elevator banks, anyone who kind of hears about it. I was bringing eight bottles, eight of these 32 ounce bottles in each hand uh, on the subway for about six months. So this is our noisy refrigerator. The coffee will steep in them uh, from 20 to 24 hours and then we'll do a dual filtration process, remove the grounds and the sediment, and what's left is what actually goes into the bottles. Over here is the bottling that's going on. This is a, a very basic filling machine. It's called an overflow filler. The coffee comes in, it's on a timer, uh, gets to a certain height, and then any extra that comes in goes back into the product hopper. And that way you have a consistent fill line. I've lived here for five years now in, in Williamsburg, and it seems like just every week there's a a new pretty cool business opening up. You got to kind of tough it out and put in sweat equity. And a lot of these people, are. this is what they are doing is maybe a craft or a hobby before. And then it's just, you know, taking it to a, a business level. And these guys are now putting expiration dates. As soon as these are packed up, they're going to go into our refrigerator. So here we are doing a little uh, shrink wrapping. I think these things drive many people crazy when they can't get them off. There were a lot of people that, that said we were pretty foolish for trying to, to do this on our own, from making it ourselves to distributing it to doing sales and all this stuff. Driving around a truck in Manhattan when you've never done that before is a really crazy experience. You're seeing all these people start these businesses and they're doing it at levels that are approachable. I went from two stores to 60 stores in basically eight months. We have uh, no desire to sell out. We love doing what we're doing. We love producing it. It's a different way of doing things that uh, New York definitely seems to be in love with.